Do brain training games really make us smarter or do they just make us feel smarter? Anthony here for DNews. People are really into these brain training games. You know the ones, right? You sign up for some website or you download an app where you play these puzzle games and they increase your intelligence and brain health and they help you fight off mental decline. But do they actually? So researchers at the University of Iowa say yes. They did a study of 681 people over the age of 50 because 680 wouldn't have worked. All the participants were given some mental tests. Then some of them were given a specially designed game to play and then some of them weren't. They were all given mental tests again eight weeks later and then a year later. And the ones that played the game for at least 10 hours showed about 70% improvement in their mental processing. That's pretty good, but other studies haven't gotten the same results. See, it all depends on what you consider mental processing, right? More in-depth studies have shown that yes, a specialized game might make somebody improve in the tasks that the game is teaching, but it doesn't translate to overall brain health. So if you're training in a game that makes you memorize a sequence of colors, you're just gonna get better at memorizing sequences of colors. It's not gonna make you somehow better at reading or math or even finding your keys. So they're probably not doing you a ton of good, but then again, they're not doing you any harm either, right? If you like them and they make you feel smarter, who cares? If anything, maybe it'll give you the confidence to take on bigger mental tasks and those will make you smarter. Uh, but it turns out that it's actually more likely to do the opposite. Spending 10 hours a week on brain training and then not getting better at complex stuff could actually hurt your self-esteem and make you less likely to take on intellectual challenges. And for older adults who need to keep their brain activity up the most, they could be doing these games instead of things that actually improve their health. I mean, even a little physical exercise can be good for their cognitive skills and it'd be time better spent. So we've got conflicting reports here, but it seems like the answer is if you like brain training games, play them, but don't expect quantifiable results from them and don't use them as your only mental exercise. I actually really like games like Brain Age, whether they're helping me or not. Do you play any brain training games and do they make you feel smarter? Let me know and subscribe for more D News.